welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Rita Okolo and it is very nice to have you here once again. So today we are going to be taking a look at the highly, highly, highly raved about new line Fenty Beauty by Rihanna. So I decided to put the products to the test on another episode of regrets and rebuys i have a special surprise for you guys to my first giveaway here i will be giving away a few items from the line in this so stay tuned till the end in order to figure out exactly how to enter and what you can win i created this entire look using the fenty line stay tuned in order to find out all the details about it I hope to see you in my next tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and let's get started. Okay, so today we are going to be testing out the Fenty Beauty products. And I will be doing a little giveaway. So you have to stay tuned to the end in order to find out how that works. So first we're going to go in with the primer. I did purchase the primer just because it was designed to be used with the foundation. So I wanted a pro filter instant retouch primer the soft matte i'm gonna take it go in with a couple pumps i already tried to swatch it on my hand it's a smooth pore diffusing finish extended makeup wear so i'm going around my nose it's supposed to be a mattifying primer so i want to test it especially my t-zone area i may have taken a little too much but i will just <laughs> Okay, this is looking interesting. Okay, so let me use a mirror. I don't know, it doesn't seem to it doesn't seem to have done anything. Um slight tackiness, but nothing major at all. Nothing major at all. So I happen to be one of those people who underestimated Rihanna. And expected this line to sell the F out, okay? So I actually was up at 2.53 a.m. Um, and I had um, the Sephora website open as well as Fenty Beauty open in order to make sure that I got my hands on the products I had my eyes on. So I ordered shade 480, okay? That was the first shade I ordered. I go on Instagram. And I see Coco swatches swatch the collection on her arm. I saw her swatch those swatches and I saw 480. She didn't even, I don't even think she even swatched 490 on her arm. She swatched 480 as the darkest shade. Bruh, that thing was like deeper than a contour shade on her. I said, hey. So I decided to go to 450, order them. Everything came in on Monday. And this is one thing that I personally struggle with when it comes to foundations and choosing foundation shades. It's the undertone. This is not even, I'm not even talking about wear and everything else. This foundation is inclusive in range. However, I feel like on the darker end of the spectrum, it does run a little warm. You know, like a lot of the, sh most of the, sh I'm not even gonna lie, most of the shades were warm. They had too much like, warmth for my skin tone i i have a lot of like yellow undertones so if i put anything red on me i just look really weird i look very very weird i look orange i returned the 450 and the 480 and i picked up 490 because it was cool and then i picked up a lighter shade 410 <laughs> and when i mix these two together in the store on my hand they seem to give a nice enough tone. This is the Precision Makeup Sponge by Fenty Beauty. Okay. This is the packaging. It does come in. Uh, the Beauty Blender might actually be a little larger. So I'll go in with 490. I'm going to go in with one pump. Damn. It's quite a lot in a pump. Okay. And then next, I'm going to go in with 410. I'll go in with maybe half a pump there. Okay. And I'm going to mix these two together. On one side of my face, now that I have my little mixture here, on one side of my face, I am going to go in with my Sigma, my Sigma F80. 
um, just to see how it applies with a brush. Okay, still pulling up a little warm, but I feel like this is a little better. Now, um, from a lot of the reviews I've already seen online, I noticed a lot of people saying that um, one, it does oxidize, and two, it dries very quickly, so you have to kind of work fast and work in sections. Um, just to get more information on it, I did go on over to Fenty Beauty to see what they were saying about the complaints about oxidation. Priscilla Ono, she's the global makeup artist for Fenty Beauty. She explained on Instagram that the Fenty Beauty foundation actually does not oxidize. That, however, it's kind of like when paint is trying to dry, you kind of have to wait until paint completely dries in order to see its true color. So that's that's how she described the Fenty Beauty foundation that in order to get your true color, you have to um, you kind of have to wait until it sets in and dries a bit in order for you to know what your actual shade is. I'm happy with the match. It's not bad. Now, from first impressions, I can tell you this definitely, I feel like this is medium, this is definitely medium coverage. It looks really good, looks like my skin. It sets, wow, it looks like, it looks just like my skin, but better, like as if I have a, like a really nice tan or something. So I'm going to try using the sponge on the other side of my face. Pat it in kind of see what's going on here so um, since I have both the lighter and darker shades I honestly might as well just try and highlight my face with it and apply it just a little bit underneath my eyes. I just want to see kind of how this will bears. Oh, this is really pretty. <laughs> this is high key really nice. This sponge gives you so many different angles. You know, you have the flat side over here you have the flat top over here which hugs nicely underneath the eye and then you have this for pouncing around your cheeks so it's actually it's pretty versatile down the center of my nose damn <laughs> This is literally a filter. It looks like skin and it sets like skin. I'm not gonna call this a soft matte. This is, this foundation is really matte, but it's a comfortable matte. Um, I, I won't describe this as a drying mat where it feels like, you know, all the life is sucked out of your skin. I feel like maybe that's why the primer acts as such like a moisturizing base because the foundation itself is very, very matte. I don't want to apply it first with a brush just so I don't go crazy because this is actually a really, really dark shade. Okay, so... around my face I would literally never wear powder with this foundation does it not look like I have nothing on my skin right now it looks like I have nothing on my skin beautiful perfect just because I don't want to play myself I'm just going to lightly set my face with the this is the Ben Nye neutral setting powder
I look like chocolate. Purchase the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt um, Freestyle Highlighter Duo in Ginger Binge and Moscow Mule. So I'm gonna go in with a Sigma F30. Oh, uh, yeah, F35. This is what it looks like. She's so cute. Okay, and I'm going to first try. I'm first going to try Moscow Mule as a highlighter. So, uh, kick back. I mean, there is some, like if I go back and forth with the brush, but we're not gonna do that, are we? No, we're going to be gentle with our product. There is definitely fallout as well. Um, so just be very careful. This is one of those products that if you drop, you are going to severely regret. Okay, now that we are a little more up close and personal. Whoa. Okay, let me... Ooh. All up under my brow bone. So it's really pretty, however, it's, it is very, very pink based. We kind of happen to be regular everyday people, <laughs> you know? So in terms of using these, I like the idea that she got creative with these. These are really beautiful. However, these may not be practical for everyone. Um, like even this, even though this looks beautiful on darker skin tones, I personally wouldn't be able to wouldn't necessarily wear this like I feel like the camera isn't picking up the exact shade like this is really bright this is really bright and there's a lot of pink so I did a really really quick eye makeup tutorial I like these because they double as highlighters and as eyeshadows just because of how pigmented they are and the the colors of the shade ranges they come in so first, I'm going to go in with Ginger Binge, and I'm going to just dip a Sigma Diffused Crease Brush into it. Just swirl it on my lid. So for the transition shades, I actually use the um, Masquerade Palette by Juvia's Place, and I mixed the shades um, Burkina, Ada, and Zulu. So just going to kind of just swirl this on the lid. And I'm going to dip into Moscow Mule. Just gonna swirl my finger in there. Okay, take Fix Plus. Spray. And I'm just gonna pat this onto the eye. This is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. And I'm gonna pop on some lashes. I can't tell me I don't look cute. What? Okay, and we're back. So I went ahead and I bronzed my face up a little bit with the CoverGirl Queen Collection Ebony Bronzer. Now we're gonna go in with the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm. We're gonna go in, gonna just So what I want to do now is just spray my face down with Fix Plus. I think this looks absolutely amazing. This is probably the best foundation I have ever worn. I've never had a foundation make me look like this. Okay, so let me give my review on everything. Primer. Is this a regret or a rebuy? It's moisturizing. I think it definitely does the job in terms of uh, working working cohesively with the foundation. However, I do feel that a moisturizing primer like this can be replaced easily. So I don't necessarily think this is going to be, I don't think this is gonna be a rebuy for me. The foundations, hands down, these are definitely rebuys for me. 
I would definitely be re repurchasing these foundations, especially in these shades. My criticism, I, as like I said before, was that although this line is very diverse in terms of shades, this initial line, and I know more shades are going to come out for sure. So maybe in the next launch, I'll have my exact shade and I won't need to mix uh, 490 and 410. I like this beauty sponge. I like the construction of the beauty sponge. I think each and every divot, each and every curve each slant serves a particular purpose what i will say um because i noticed some people were struggling with this online you need to make sure that your sponge is just damp it's not soaking wet i think it does rival the beauty blender in terms of usability once you know what each angle is specifically for I think it's easier to see why this would rival the Beauty Blender. The highlighter. Is this a rebuy for me? I'm on the fence with this one. This is a beautiful packaging, beautiful compact, beautiful product. Um, however, there is fallout with this. I'm not going to lie at all. Now with Ginger Binge and Moscow Mew, I love the, the warm tones in the highlighters. However, I do feel... There's a line in between, you know, runway and practicality, everyday practicality that is being like, it's straddling that. Um, you have to be very light-handed with this product. Now, granted, that is a bonus because of the price of the product. It means it'll last you a little longer if you're careful with the brush you use and the fallout. However, um, I don't necessarily I don't know if I'm necessarily crazy about the highlighters she's come out with they're a lot of bold 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 color and you know practicality is something that has to be questioned here for everyday use is this beautiful absolutely it gives a nice beautiful glow to the skin but you have to use a light hand because this can easily go from 0 to 100 very very quickly now Another thing I do like about this is that I was able to create this eye look using these um, these highlighters here. The lip gloss. This is an overpriced lip gloss, okay? I'm just going to go out and say it. It comes out like a clear gloss almost. Um, it has some sheen to it, but it's not like overtly crazy. So is this something that i would say is necessary or would be a rebuy no this is definitely not going to be a rebuy for me it's a beautiful gloss nonetheless however for me personally this is not going to be a rebuy overall the collection was absolutely beautiful i am here for rihanna i am here for this diversity i am here for it all um i cannot wait to see what she does with the foundation lines hopefully she does come out with more olive yellow tones especially in the darker range of her foundation shades just so rita does not have to buy two of them in order to make this work well that now brings us to the fun part to the giveaway okay so so i have decided to do my first giveaway with the fenty beauty line just because i feel like it adequately represents what i want my channel to speak of which is diversity and inclusion and representation especially for darker skinned women i really love the fact that rihanna kept that in mind um when she was creating this line so that's why i felt like okay this is definitely like the right time to do my first giveaway with these products so for this you will be getting your own beauty sponge the fenty glow lipstick as well as a Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighter of your choice. So you'll be winning these. In order to enter my giveaway, you need to follow me on Instagram, follow me on Snapchat, follow me on Twitter. You also need to be subscribed to my YouTube channel, obviously, and leave a comment down below as to what it is you believe diversity means to you diversity in the beauty community means to you yeah i think that's pretty simple i'll leave all the exact info for when it will be ending in the description bar thank you very much for watching this tutorial don't forget to like comment and subscribe on your way out
and I hope to see you in my next video. Have a good day, stay blessed, and stay golden.